What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In this video, I'm going to simply show you just how to put your Facebook ads on steroids, like what it's all about when it comes to your real ROI. Um, if you caught any of my last videos, you guys, I'm always talking about custom audiences. I'm always talking about that your ROI, your return on investment is when you're retargeting custom audiences. A custom audience are people who are watching your videos. A custom audience are those who are landing on your landing page, but not opting in. A custom audience are those who are actually opting in, landing on your confirmation page and now becoming leads or maybe purchase customers. That's a very specific custom audience. Retargeting, 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 and going after the people who have not converted or who have not purchased or, or who have not turned into a lead. That's what it's all about. But how do you take that to the next level? How do you really put it on steroids and leverage Facebook's artificial intelligence and you leverage Facebook's targeting to really go out there and find you even more people to target that you may have not have, have known of in the in, in in the beginning. When it all starts, you guys, we start off targeting a cold market, right? We start off targeting an audience that we think are 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 our avatars, right? You think that that's your interest group. You think that that's the actual group that you want to go after. So you set it up in your in your ad set and you target that interest, not knowing who the customer is, not knowing if you'll even get any customers. That's when you're starting off in the very beginning, targeting a cold market. But as I'm mentioning, as people start to see your videos, if you're running videos, as people start to click on your images, of the ad as you're running more image ads or as people land on your landing page, but don't opt in. Those become warmer audiences. Again, those are your custom audiences. Those are who you're going to retarget. Now, after you already accomplished one goal, the goal of, of maybe getting someone to opt in, or maybe the goal of getting someone to purchase once X amount of people actually land on a thank you for purchasing page, your confirmation page, your 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 thank you for 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 opting in page. For example, let me show you let me show you a quick quick example because this is super important. Um, let's say for example, I go. Let's say I'm a real estate agent and I'm running ads to this one page right here. This is my landing page, right? Again, there's going to be people that land here that don't opt in right? That's an audience that I want to make sure I capture to show them the next ad. But these people over here that actually opt in. So if I, if I come over here and I actually opt in, once X amount of people, and to be really exact, it's 100. Once 100 people land here, this is a very specific custom audience. This is a very specific link. Once 100 people land here, and this custom audience, by the way, is something I would call leads. So if this was a listing, and I'm a real estate agent, for example, and 100 people land here, that's 100 leads. That's a custom audience, right? But again, the whole point of this video is how do I take it to the next level? How do I run ads on steroids and leverage Facebook's algorithm and leverage Facebook's algorithm? I mean, not, not just algorithm, but artificial intelligence. This is how you do it. You create a lookalike audience. So based on this link right here, based on based on the fact that I had 100 people land here, right? 100 people landed here. Now, what can I do with that audience? Now, I'm going to create a lookalike audience. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, Facebook, here's an audience of 100 people. I need you to now go and find me millions more that look and resemble just like this. So they look just like this. They have the same click patterns. They have the same buying purchasing um, um, habits. Facebook has over 10,000 data points on us. And how do they know all this shit about us is because everyone's pixel is tracking every activity. That's one way. Not only does Facebook buy data, but one huge way that they have data points on all of us and they know exactly what all of us are clicking on is because today, majority of websites have a Facebook pixel. Even if you're not running ads, and, it, and, and if you know somewhat about websites, you don't even have to be a website developer or designer or anything like that. If you're putting together click funnel pages, Kartra pages, lead pages, any kind of landing page, a MailChimp page, if today in 2021, you're putting together any type of web page, you're somewhat most people are somewhat knowledgeable to put a pixel on that page. So even if you're not running an ad, 
a pixel is still on that page and Facebook is still tracking everyone who lands there, right? So with that being said, I'm able to give them this list of 100 people who landed on my thank you for your interest page. Now I'm going to give it to Facebook and I'm going to tell Facebook to go find me millions more that look just like this person. Okay. And here's how you do it. So I have a list, right? I have a list of, of, of thousands of people that are, that are customers of a different product. Now, if you caught my previous video that I launched, I don't know, a couple, couple of days ago, um, regarding affiliate marketing and, and how I'm fired up to be going into a whole new space of online marketing and, and, and how I'm teaming up with, with Commission Hero and, and, and Robbie Blanchard to really bring a ton of, mar a ton of products to the market and, and just take my overall knowledge to the next level when it comes to making money online. ClickBank is going to be one of those vendors. ClickBank is one of the platforms where I'm, be, I'm going to be able to grab different products and market them online and make money, right? So what I'm able to do is I'm able to, to, to get a customer list. And so any of you guys, any of you guys that are actually selling products online, what you can do if you're if you're an affiliate marketer, here's what here's what you want to do. And here's exactly what I did. You want to reach out to that vendor to get an example or a customer list. Let them know you're running Facebook ads and net and let them know that that you would like some type of customer list so you can create lookalike audiences inside of Facebook. That's exactly what I did. So I was able to reach out to the vendor, get a, a, an actual sample of a customer list, thousands of people on a customer list. And all they all I'm going to do with that again is turn it into a lookalike. I'm going to tell Facebook, hey, here's a list. Here is a customer list of thousands of people who did X, right? You got X, Y, and Z. These are thousands of people who did X. What is X? They purchased. This is a customer list. This is what I'm telling Facebook, right? Now I'm going to tell Facebook again, go and find me more. And here's how you do it, you guys. So it starts with reaching out to the vendor. It starts with reaching out to, to the vendor and asking them for some type of customer list, a, a, a list. And most of the vendors out there, and this applies to anything, you guys. It applies, it applies to anything. If you're a real estate agent, you can reach out. You can literally reach out to your title company and ask them, hey, can you provide me with a list of people who purchased five years ago? The title company has so much data on so many different homeowners, it's not even funny. Now, depending on your title company, some of them will give you that list. Maybe some will sell you the list. And there's, there's even lead brokers out there, will, which will, and, and these brokers will actually sell you lists of different different things. So no matter what you're selling, if you're selling shoes online, maybe do a Google search, look for a lead broker and see if you can purchase a list of people who have purchased shoes in the past, right? This, you can, you can apply this to many, many different things. It's all about a list. Give me a list of people who have already did X. And now I'm going to tell Facebook to go find me more. So this right here, you guys, is a huge, huge shortcut. Now, if it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for me reaching out to a vendor, if it's not for, if it's not you reaching out to a broker or or some list broker or some lead broker or a title company, if it's you not doing that, then then all you would do is create your own customer list. So in this case. If I didn't have a vendor list, if I didn't have any lead broker to give me a list, I would simply create my own customer list, right? My own custom audience around my page. So if 100 people landed on this page, okay, then I can go create a lookalike audience. But what if 100 people haven't landed here? And what if I don't want just 100? What if I want 10,000? right? Because the more data I can give Facebook, the better. If I gave them a customer list, a custom audience of 100 people who landed on this page versus maybe going to a lead broker and buying 10,000 people who landed on a page like this, that's a bigger lookalike audience that I'm going to be able to create inside of Facebook. It's more data for Facebook. So that's why going, in my case, affiliate marketing, going straight to the vendor, asking them for a customer list, they'll give you back thousands. And that's a major, major shortcut to seeing a, a, an ROI on your Facebook advertising fast. Because at the end of the day, here's what, what it's all about. And then I'll get on with, with what I'm saying. At the end of the day, it's all about retargeting your custom audiences, but to take your ads to the to a whole nother level, it's all about retargeting and creating lookalike audiences. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do here. Now, when it comes to vendors, what a lot of them will do is they'll send you a hashed list, a hashed list. Let me show you what a hashed list looks like. A hashed list is simply a, a list 
of a bunch of people who are on an email list, but the data is encrypted. So for example, if a vendor, which, which in this case, a vendor did give me this list, but he gave it to me hashed, meaning all the emails are on there, but they're all hashed. They're all encrypted. Now, Facebook, I'm going to show you how to do it in Facebook. Facebook can simply, um, let me, um, let me see if I can pull it up here. Facebook. Let me, let me stop share here and see if I can share um, that document right here. Okay. Look, this is what it looks like. This is what a hash list looks like. Okay. When a vendor gives you or any broker, any lead person, whatever, when they give you a list, most likely it's going to be like this. They're not going to give you everyone's email. Now that's what we're asking for, but they're going to just give it to you in this form, which is hashed. Okay. Now I'm going to show you once you upload to Facebook, then Facebook, their system unhashes it. Right. So they'll be able to take all that information, read it, and then provide the lookalike audience for you. Now, again, I don't get access to the actual emails. I'm not buying email emails, but at the same time, I could for sure do that too. I can reach out to a lead broker and I can buy emails. You could for sure do that. And then take that email list, create a custom audience, which I'm gonna show you how to do, and then turn around and create a lookalike audience. And then when we go run our future ad, we're targeting lookalike audiences. That's how you take it to the next level. So here is my... Excel spreadsheet of how many are on this actual list. There is, um, where's the actual count? There's, let's see, can I just, I'll just scroll down to the bottom. Let me see. There's, um, yeah, see, so look, there's 5,000 records on this list, okay? 5,000 records. Now, let me go ahead and take this and put it over here. Okay, so now here's what I'm going to do with that list. I'm going to simply come into my, into my ads manager and I'm going to click on the dots over here and I'm going to go audiences. This is how we create a custom audience around that list. That's step one. Okay. Step two is we're going to create a lookalike audience around the custom audience. Okay. So hopefully this is not confusing you. And again, if it has replay and watch this damn video again, because this right here, you guys is, 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 this is right here is the golden egg. This is what you're, what you're going to want to be doing. And this is how you just, so when you're hearing about people running Facebook ads and making millions of dollars, they're targeting lookalike audiences. Okay. Now you can get to hundreds of thousands of dollars retargeting custom audiences, but to make millions, seven, eight, even nine figures, when you're hearing about any of these online marketers making that kind of money through Facebook advertising, it's because they're retargeting and targeting only lookalike. Okay. So if you didn't get anything out of this damn video, get that. That's how people scale their business with Facebook advertising. They target lookalike audiences and lookalike audiences only. That's what this is all about. And, and again, all I'm doing here is we have a fast track to get to that lookalike because we have a list of customers. And, and that's what I would encourage you guys to do. Go find a way to get a list of your ideal cus a customer. You just need the email and this is how you do it. Get that email list. And if it's a hash list, it's the same thing. You come over here, create custom create a custom audience. And this is the audience we're going to be going off of is customer list. Okay. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on next. And then it's going to bring me up how to prepare your customer list. And all this information right here, I don't think a lot of this is important, you know, based on my training and, and my mentor and what I'm learning in my coaching program right now, none of that stuff is even necessary. All I need is the email. Now, the more information I obviously would be the better, but, but again, you only need the email. So if I go next, I'm going to over here value. I don't have a value, so I don't, and I don't need a value. So I'm going to just go no. And then over here, this is where I upload a list. And I'm going to simply take that upload file and I'm going to come to my um, Excel spreadsheet and I'm going to up it, upload it there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to name this audience. So this is research hashed customer list. And I'm going to click on next. And then over here, you're going to see more identifiers needed right? Because it mapped zero because it's a hash list. So all I got to do is click on action needed, click on this and go down to email. That's all I need is the email. And then I'm going to import and create the list. Okay. This is step one. Step one is creating the list. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to retarget the custom audience, the list, the custom audience. What I want to do is I want to take it up. Since the custom audience has more than a hundred events, right? Optimizations, um, conversions, I should say. 
because this custom audience has more than 100 conversions, remember, it's all about 100. When I get 100 people to land on this thank you page, that's when I can go turn around and create a lookalike, okay? Now, if I don't have 100 conversions on this page, then I'll just retarget my custom audiences until I do. And then once I do, then I'll, I'll turn around and create a lookalike. So in this case, this is an audience right here. It says below 1,000, but as it populates, it'll be up to 5,000, right? Because that's how many records were on there. Now, maybe not every email will match 100% with Facebook and that's fine, but it'll still be in the thousands. It'll still be in the thousands. And that's another thing. You got to make sure you have a good list. This right here, I know for a fact is a good list. There's some lead brokers out there that will sell you a bullshit list. You have to know who you're working with. Okay. So this right here, we saw on the, on the Excel spreadsheet, it's 5,000 records. Um, so that below 1,000, that will populate over the next couple hours and will be way above 1000. And so because I'm above 100, now I'm going to go create a lookalike. So I could do that right away as it's populating. All I got to do is check the box and then I'm going to click on the, the, the three dots and I'm going to create a lookalike. Now here's what I'm going to do. Again, the lookalike is how you scale your business. It's how you scale your ads. It's how you freaking get to the freaking bread and butter faster than fast. Okay is the lookalike. But what I'm going to do here in the lookalike is I'm going to, I'm going to create multiple lookalike audiences around this one custom audience. So I have one custom audience. I'm not going to just create one lookalike audience. I'm actually going to create multiple. And so again, if you caught my video a few days ago regarding all this, regarding, regarding my next million, I think that's what, what I titled it. It's an affiliate marketing. And the reason why I, I, I believe that and know that is not because of the mentorship, not just because of the coaching program, not because not just because of the people that I'm following are already there and they're already doing it, but it's mainly because of just basic common sense. With my daytime business, I'm providing social media marketing services to let's just say real estate agents, right? And that's just in this country. But where I'm thinking in 2021 is how in the hell do I run something globally? How can I make money around the world? How can I have a product or service international where it doesn't matter who the hell's buying it, I'm still making money. That's what this is all about. That's why I chose affiliate marketing to, to, to go down that path because with affiliate marketing, you can find amazing products that are not your products and you can market these products through Facebook ads all around the world, multiple countries and make money 24 seven. That's what I'm all about. So in this particular case, I'm gonna simply create a lookalike audience around the top five countries that I'm going to be targeting. Okay. So it all starts here. So we're going to go, um, this is, this is the actual data source, right? So select your audience, your lookalike source. It's coming from this list right here. And then it says select audience. So I'm going to go United States. We're going to go United States. And then we're going to search. We're going to um, click out of that. And we're going to create this one right here of zero to 1%. A 1% lookalike consists of people most similar to your lookalike audience source, okay? So that's exactly what it is. I provided a list of people of customers who have already landed on that page. Now, Facebook is going to show me, is going is to create a 1% lookalike of people who look just like that. And based on 1%, that's 2.2 million people, 2.2 million people. That, that look just like my 100, for example, right? So that right there, you guys, is insane. If you can get 100 people to opt in, if you can get 100 people to purchase your shit, you can then turn around and create a lookalike audience. And then Facebook will show that to millions more that are, that are likely to do that same action, just like the last 100. So this right here, you guys, is powerful. I'm going to go 1%. So in this case, I'm going to name this right here. Um, I'm going to go... Let's go, actually, you know what? We're going to go three. So this, I'm going to hit down. I'm going to hit three. So I'm going to go zero to 1%, zero, I mean, excuse me, zero to 1%. I'm going to go one to 2%. And then I'm going to go two to 5%. Okay. So zero to one, one to two, two to five. Okay. Those are the different, the different um, audiences. So it's three lookalike audiences targeting one country. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do now. That's fine. That's fine. Um, and then I'm going to create audience.
Okay, so poof, perfect. So there goes there goes my lookalike US two to five percent. Actually, you know what? Let me let's come in here. Let's see if we can edit this. Actually, you know what? My bad, my bad, my bad. So so look, we got three of them. We got we got the we got the um it's these three right here. So we got the we got the zero to one, the one to two, and then then and then the two to five. That right there, you guys, is and that's US based. Okay. US based. Now what I'm gonna do, I won't bore you with all five countries, but I'll show you one more. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply check the box again of the custom audience, right? And then I'm gonna come up here and create another lookalike. So I'm gonna name, I'm gonna come over here, and this this next one is gonna be Canada. So we're gonna go Canada. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the drop down. We're going to go down to three and I'm going to go zero to one, one to two, and then two to five. And that is my Canada lookalike audience. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's do one more since this shit's easy and, and I'm actually having kind of fun. So here, let, let's check this box real quick. Let's go lookalike. And now we're going to create one around the United Kingdom. That's the third country. And then, and then the last two countries, which I won't show you here, but those are the last two countries I'm going to do. It's New Zealand and Australia. Okay. Those are the top five countries where, where the majority of, 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 of cells are coming from. And again, you got to just know your product. You got to know your avatar. You got to know your audience. You got to know what countries are popping. And again, based on my coaching and what I'm going through right now, as far as learning, it's those top five countries. So those are the ones I'm going to create lookalike audiences around. Okay. So zero to one, one to two, three to five. This is the United Kingdom. Um, and that's create audience. So now here's the deal. Now, as I go in, here's what it's all about, you guys, and I'll end it here. Here's what it's all about. As I now go in, I got all my lookalikes and I can, I can start this ad right away. I don't have to wait till it's populated. All of them are saying ready and they're all ready to go. So what I can do now and I'll do this on the next video, but this is where it starts. So if I come in here and I go to the ads manager, let's go to the ads manager. All we gotta do now, you guys, is click on the green button. So as I come in here now and I click on the green, what I'm going for is conversions, okay? Conversions, conversions, or for those of you that are looking to capture leads or make sales, okay? If those are your two objectives, it's conversions. Even if you're even if you're in if, if you're in the service like client services business and you're looking to, to get appointments, so you're running ads to get people to schedule a call with you, right? That's also conversions. Um, appointments, sales, or leads, conversions. Okay. So now all I got to do is come over here, hit continue, and then this part over here, depending on what industry you're in, right? If you're in real estate or, or politics or anything like that, um, employment, you'll have to choose one of these credit. You'll have to choose one of these, right? So if you're a real estate agent, for example, you'll go housing. Now what I'm doing with affiliate marketing, I'm no, I'm no, none of those. So I don't have to do that at all. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go campaign budget optimization. I'm going to set everything on the ad set level, the budget, but here is the targeting. Okay. Here's the targeting. So now as we get to the second step, the ad set level, now all I got to do is come over here and I'm actually going to go dynamic creative. Now, again, this won't be this video. I'll show you how to run this ad on a whole different one, but um, dynamic creative is something I would do for sure. But then over here, so all I got to do is come down, make sure that the, the correct pixel is there. So there's my pixel and my conversion event is going to be purchase. Okay. That's going to be the, 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 um, the conversion event is purchase. And then all I'm going to do is come down here to the audience and I'm going to simply search and I'm going to look for my lookalike. That's all I'm going to do you guys. So now I'm going to be able to target millions of people who look like my customer audience and my customer or my custom audience are customers, right? So this right here, you guys, I, I want you to really understand that that Facebook ads is a process. A lot of people think that they can come in, run one ad and capture a shitload of leads or make a ton of sales. It doesn't happen that way. And here's the thing, Boyan, here's the thing that, because me and my buddy right here that's on, on the call with me, 
we're 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 thinking we're 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 thinking of investment investments. We're thinking, damn, was it worth it? We're thinking, you know, some sometimes we can we can be thinking negative, right? Was it really worth it to invest, right? Was it really worth it to bring on that coach or that training program? This right here alone, for what I spent on this course or just knowledge in general, what I spent to learn this one strategy made everything worth it. Because I was thinking like everybody else, run your ads, build your custom audiences and, and let that shit play out. And once you get your own hundred customers, then turn that shit into a lookalike audience and then go from there. Well, shit, that can take a while, dude, for you to get a hundred leads or for you to get a hundred cells targeting your own people that could take a while. That's not an overnight thing. So, so, so when I learned this, he said, no, David, we have a customer list. All you got to do is create a custom audience and then a lookalike. And now go target your lookalike and get straight to the cell. When I learned this shit, my freaking head exploded. I was like, holy shit, that was worth the investment alone to learn that because Very that's cool. that's not what I was thinking at all before. Like I wasn't, I wasn't knowing that, I wasn't thinking that. Um, I didn't know that at all. And so this right here, you guys, it's what it's all about. So when you're looking at Facebook advertisers or anyone building an online business, running Facebook ads, and they're making a shitload of money, it's because they're targeting lookalike audiences. Okay. Now, again, I'll say this in closing, that lookalike audience could have been built around our custom audience that we built, that we worked hard for, that we got our hundred plus customers to land on the thank you page. And we've been grinding it out or that custom audience that lookalike audience could have been could have been built around a custom audience that I purchased. Right. Yeah. So, so this right here is gold, man. This is what it's all about is retargeting and targeting your lookalike audiences. And that's why I'm in love with affiliate marketing right now, because I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be able to take a product that I, that I already know is selling and market it to other countries that I wasn't able to market before to. So with my current product, my digital product, for example, targeting real estate agents, it's only U.S. I couldn't target a real estate agent in New Zealand or in Australia. They do different shit. They have different practices, right? So, so be, to be able to take yeah. a, a product and market it global is absolutely mind-blowing to me, you guys. And that's why I'm in love with affiliate marketing right now. But this right here is how you create your custom audience, how you turn it into a lookalike audience. And at the end of the day, the lookalike audience is all you're going to be targeting. So if I come in here, let's say I want to go after the, um, let's say I want to go to the, the, let's go, shit, any of them, one to two, here's the zero to one. So if I go 1%, what I can do is I can simply create multiple ad sets around each one, or I can just simply come in here and target all of them. In fact, that's what my, my, um, my, my mentor does. He'll just come in here and he'll just choose all of them and then, and then, and then, and, and target all of them at one time. And, and here's another thing. Once you put in your, your lookalike audiences, depending on what countries you're, you're creating lookalike audiences around. In my case, it's going to be these five top countries, right? U.S., Canada, United Kingdom, New Zealand, and Australia. When I put all those lookalike audiences in there, right? I'm going to bunch them all in right there. What I also have to do is come down here and choose each, each country as well. So each, each country has to be chosen in the targeting down here as well. Okay, so that's the last part is just come in here, add all those lookalike audiences, and then come down here and add all of the countries as well. And what you want is you want people living in, okay, not recently in, not, you know, traveling, you want people living in this location. So you would choose your top, you know, countries that the lookalike audiences are all based around. And then you go from there. Down here, you don't need to do anything else. You don't need to change age. You don't need to change gender. You don't need to turn on targeting. You don't have to target your interests, the behavior, your, your, your ideal avatar. You don't have to do any of that. Everything is going to be based on your lookalike audiences. Okay. So as long as that custom audience is legit, these lookalike audiences 
are going to simply take your business to a whole nother level. So that's how you do it, you guys. That's where the ROI is at. That's where you see all these top online marketers making making online online marketers making all their money on Facebook through. It's their lookalike. This is what it's all about. So hopefully you got value, guys. And if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, like, and 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 hit the bell for notifications. Drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from, and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Create your custom audiences, turn them into lookalikes, and I'll see you guys at the top. Over now.